this is James Calm, the guy on the bike again. And we've got another half ass production. Yeah. Today, we're coming to you from the corner of Hope and Marcy. We're going to visit Paparazzi. exhibition. It's actually a two person show, an exhibition by Carol Samuelson, who is a light artist, and China Blue. And we've got David Gibson and Jeff Wright, Laura Ortiz. Anyway, let's let's see what we've got going in here at Dam Stool Trigger Gallery. So this is Carol Samuelson's installation. It's very uh, sophisticated. She's built the baffle wall and painted the gallery walls black. Works with these uh, light modules. Oh, and here we are in the installation. It's actually like being submerged into an ocean of lights. And here is here is the well-known painter Robin Ross. And the well-known earth artist Noah Bain. How's it going, Noah? Tell me what you think of the installation. I really, I really like it. I like the, I like the sculptural aspect. I like the, the environmental aspect in terms of making it fill in the space. How about you, Robin? Do you have uh, any ideas, any comments you could make on the? I really like it. And having seen Carol's work over a number of years, it's just really maturing beautifully. You're a friend of Carol's? Um, we're friendly. This does give you a whole different sense of uh, color when you're sort of engulfed in it in an environment like this. I love it in the environment. But Laura, did you see her environmental show at Bayview City Williams about, what, three or four years ago? I didn't, but I did see her show here at uh, Dam Stool Trigger, I guess about a year and a half ago. Here's the artist right here. I should go over and see if I can snag an interview. Thanks, folks. And, uh, now we're talking with Carol Samuelson, the uh, the artist. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your uh, new installation here? Do you have a name for this piece? Yeah, this piece is called Glimmering Rose. Glimmering Rose. Grove. Grove. Like a grove of trees. Right. And tell us, what's this made out of? This is made out of LED and fluorescent light. And this, and the plastic wall. Submerge you in uh, in a environment of color. And they're reflected through prism rods, and now, prism rods kind of blend the colors together. When you do these pieces, how much uh, time do you concentrate on picking out the sequences of the colors and all that kind of stuff? It seems like the the uh, the reflections and the uh, the interaction of the color lights are a very kind of major part of. Uh, I mean, it's like a painter sort of selecting his palette, but uh, do you spend a lot of time thinking about this and experimenting with uh, lights and things in your studio when you're designing these things? How long did it take you to build the uh, the installation here? The installation took about a week. And you got a trucker. You called me the other day to get a trucker. You got a trucker to get stuff over here? I know. We crammed it in my car. You stuck it in your car. Okay. Amazing with Subaru wagon to home. We're talking with... Uh, Carol Samuelson here at her latest installation. You said it was Green Grove? Glimmering Grove. Gl glimmering, gl <laughs> glimmering, glimmering Grove. 
here at the Dam Still Trigger Gallery, and the show is going to be up for how long? Until May 21st. May 21st. That's beautiful. Thanks, Carol. Stand there, look glamorous. <laughs> Here's Leah Stultrager, the director. She's a very bashful young lady. So uh, I understand that you have a new program that you're going to be having some uh, like rock and roll concerts in the backyard and three of them online. Three of them online. Tell me about the program. What's coming up? We have the hottest talent coming from Williamsburg, and that's what we're starting with. Um, next season, I think we're going to do Philadelphia, but we have three shows, 12 bands from Williamsburg. Yeah. 12 bands? Going. Out of three shows, three Saturdays in a row. First one, I believe, is on the middle. Sounds like fun. It is. It will be. <laughs> And here we are at the China Blue installation. And here's the artist China Blue at China Blue at her installation here in Gallery 3 at Dam Still Trader Gallery. And the title of the piece is The Secret Arch. Now, why don't you tell us a little bit about your concept for the uh, the installation here. I noticed that you've got uh, some uh, lights mounted in uh, speakers. You've got some uh, dialogue going on on the speakers. Can you tell us a little bit about what's happening here? Yeah, the Secret Arch is an interactive piece it's based on the Secret Arch of Grand Central Station, where people speak in whisper to one corner and they can be heard in clearly in the other one. And so what I've done is I've set up an interactive system here where you can actually record your secret on Side, and it'll be played through the speakers. So somebody can come in here and actually record whatever they want to talk about and uh, you'll play it on the speaker? And That's right. They can either record here or else they can go to my website or send me a secret. Tell us what your website is. They can go to my website at www.chinabluart.com www.chinabluart.com And they can send me a secret. It can be a voice Secret. It has to be a secret. It has to can be, be a well-known fact. Huh? <laughs> a short, short, one, or two or three sentences, and you can send it by text, um, or you can record your voice and send your voice, and I will add it to the secret spot. So what we're listening to here are thousands of secrets that uh, you recorded from various people, and they're playing them back. At, uh, and they're playing them back randomly through the speakers. Wow. Speakers. Anything juicy coming out of this? Uh, oh, lots of juicy stuff about people's secret private sex lives. Wow. Got secret, people's secret desires to become lesbians, men desiring to be a lesbian. I always wanted to be a lesbian myself now that you mentioned it. Right. And it sounds like a lot of fun. Now, tell us about the actual structure that you've got here. It's a limited, uh, uh, construction. Did you design this yourself? Yes, I designed it completely and fabricated it myself. And then what we have over here are um, paintings, uh, visualizations of in Gallery 3 at Dam Stultrager. The microphone set up without a microphone. Thanks, China. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.